happened in here? Um, yeah, go ahead. Well, I, um, I hop trains for a long period of time, and you don't come across a lot of um, showers or rivers and whatnot. Um, so the dirt kind of builds up and kind of builds up some bacteria, and now I'm having to pay for it, and I've waited as long as like, my skin getting infected. So whoever says that you being a traveling kid that has to be dirty is a complete lie because you can very well take care of yourself and still travel like I do. And you don't have to deal with this and get sick in the woods. So, so what we're looking at here, can you get me something to clean up? Please, Greg. Some like cotton swabs or something. Yeah, uh, swabs. Paper towels would be fine. No, no, don't use that. Just use paper. If you give me some toilet paper. Just a roll of toilet paper. I was gonna say, I just, from what I know of, I thought you might have done that. So, we have somebody else here, as I've mentioned other times, that's concerned about themselves, which is always helpful rather than just coming in regularly. The, the problem, what we really, what we get concerned about is that, that first that we're going to break her arm by moving it this way way too much to, to show off the wounds. Um, this over here is see, just... I can see well. This over here is just fluid that we just put on her. That's not kind of any kind of pus. Um, but when you have multiple wounds and that are healing slow, your chances for infection just go up a lot. So for anybody who's watching this, it's just important, like, when you have, like, a little wound here, a little wound there, but when wounds start to spread, and especially if they go on their own, uh, one of our large concerns is that it will get infected and it'll spread. Hey, Shauna, I had something that somebody want. Oh, never mind. We found it. So, um... Oh, you made it here? And then, so these are not very actively infected right now, but it's 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 right on the verge. So we're lucky that this person is being concerned because it can, it can get bad uh, pretty fast and it can spread. You know, whatever. Usually, staph is the most common bacteria. You can relax your arm. Um, staph is the most common bacteria. So we're basically going to clean it up at this point. We're going to give you more nasty tasting stuff, um, and we're just going to keep wrapping gently, and then. No, no. So. Good. It's also just yeah. for the camera right here. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm going to go ahead and put activated charcoal on it. Okay. Um, which will sort of draw things out. Nice. And Well, it doesn't really draw out, but what it does is it's adhesive, so it, it sort of draws things onto its surface. Right on. Um, yeah. Can you get a few more Q-tips, please? And some, I mean, if I'm gonna switch um, what I'm like dapping it on with between um, wounds, so that way if one is particularly more. Yeah, if, well, if one's that stuff and then the others aren't, I'm not gonna bring it between all of them. Is it more than just on the elbow here? Also on her neck? Yeah, there's one on my neck, and then the, the rest are just on this arm. Okay. Do you want to go get some, some, uh, some, some gauze? Did they start as cuts that just got infected, or? They, they started as, um, kind of like blister pockets after, like, I haven't taken a shower in, like, maybe two or three months, and my skin just, I don't know, isn't prone to dirt that well. And so it just kind of started, started as, like, dead skin skin pockets that like led open to like new skin that led open to wounds which led to um, staff. So and I've had staff like three times. So I I kinda know how it goes. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. And another, just another strip. I don't want to put tape on yet. Okay. Just another strip that goes. Yeah. Well, I was in a play. Sugar scissors. Yeah. It's not the one that. 
To me, seems like it's at least escalating this and spreading it. Is like a sort of a nervous habit, and how much of it is like a yeast infection or yeah. eczema or something like that. I know. I don't know either. I didn't even start. I didn't even start like itching as bad, and I started itching like around my thighs okay. when I first started doing this. And this was like maybe three months ago, and it was right after I got off of the road from yeah. San Francisco, and I was home yeah, that it. Right now I'm adding echinacea um, just to boost Im innate immunity mm -hmm. but I'd also really like to think of something to put in here that'll help with the itchiness but I don't, I'm trying to figure out what that's gonna be. Something internal for itchiness? Yeah. Well, because I think we have yeast infections. Do you have them? Have you had them? I haven't had any in a while, but I have not had some in the past. Um, I guess the last time I had one of those was probably like, uh, almost a year ago. But I mean, I, I had them there. Okay. But, Why would there be yeast? Well, just, I mean, just, she's, she's just so itchy, so I'm curious if that. Okay, so I'm gonna give her some Oregon grapefruit now, and then I'm gonna try a few tinctures just on drop doses. Can you try? I'm just on, in small drop doses at first to see. 10, 10 to 15? Yeah, just the full thing. Okay. And then I'll give her some to go to take every few hours. Uh, let's see. Water? No, it's like the gross one. Yeah, I remember that. We can hang on to that for a second. Um, I'm gonna give you one drop of this. This is California Poppy. Nice. And it'll help. Um, well, I want, I'm hoping that it'll help like, with the nervousness and the itchiness. So if you could open your mouth. Okay. Under my tongue? Oh, just open your mouth. Why are you doing these drop doses? Um, just so you can tell if there's any immediate reaction and if that's sort of positive or negative. Um, how does that feel for you? Does that feel good or bad? Or? I mean, it feels, it feels relaxing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's sitting in. Yeah, it's okay. It feels relaxing. Mm. That's California poppy? Yeah. That's, mm. Mm. How many how many drops can you give one patient? Of of this, Half, yeah. you could do a lot probably, but um, can I do one more? Is it? Yeah, I'll def I was def definitely gonna give you more. I'm just trying to figure out if whether it's the the right herb for you still. Can I see your face? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a few drops more of this right in the water here. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. And then we'll, um, we're also going to mix up some of both of these things in a to-go container that we have now. Okay. So you can take two dropperfuls of that every like two or three hours. Two or three hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. And I, do I have to eat with it at all? It doesn't matter. All right. It's nice. So I meant to give you water with that. How does that feel? Feels a lot better. I do feel a lot, a lot calmer. Not so worried about the infection anymore. I think it's going to help. But he's right. He kind of called it out. Like he called out that um, it could have been like you know my itching kind of started when I started getting stressed out. You know, if I had a lot on my mind or you know, um, just couldn't handle. It, you know, so I when I thought I was itching, I might have not actually been itching. But that just comes as a nerve. You know, like how you bite your nails. You know, just out of a nervous habit. I think I started just itching, and then on top of being on the road, on top of hardly showering, it just doesn't. It doesn't really work in your favor. So yeah, this is just this is just another example of, of why I should take the time to one, take care of my feet, two, take care of my teeth, and three, just take care of my body. All the way around. Good. Good lessons. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing all this with us. We really yeah, appreciate of you. Thank you. Sharing everything with us. Of course, Lots of exactly. people are gonna learn from you. Yeah, I might as well might as well learn now and then not have to learn the hard way. So mm -hmm.